Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Foundation and the brush that is recommended to apply it. Now, first thing is price point. This is $38 on its own. You can get it from Tarte, Sephora, QVC, Ulta, etc. Brush, $32. Same thing, you can get it at all those places. If you get the two of them together, you can get them both for $39 from QVC. That's exclusive to QVC, so you can't get that anywhere else. But it's an excellent value, so it's worth looking into and possibly picking up from there because, like I said, a dollar more and you get the brush and the foundation. The brush itself, you can. this would be the exact one you can get. Sometimes they have like limited ones that have like cloth and stuff here, so it's a little more decorative if you're interested in that. Personally, I'm not that specific about it. So, yeah. The first thing is the foundation. It's a squeeze tube like this. You squeeze it down, it comes out the bottom there. It has the color here and an indicator here so you know how much you've gone through. My shade is light sand. The other thing to think about, just a quick little mention, is if you order the bundle, you can only get yellow base. So if that's an issue for you. Personally, I have pinker skin and I can wear yellow base without it looking anything. Without it looking bad or anything. So it's definitely pull-offable and doable. So to save the you know brush money might be worth it. But application-wise, what I like to do is I like to take my MAC palette and I like to just squeeze a little bit out. It's a very thick consistency foundation. I'll, you know, work my finger in it and spread it out a little bit. Then I'll hit the areas of my face with my finger, sort of patting in and maybe spreading it a little bit. And then once I've got it like that, I'll take my brush and I will buff it into the skin and spread it out that way. It's supposed to be full coverage, and I'd say that it is full coverage. It's not as full coverage as the Estee Lauder Double Wear, per se, but it is full coverage. It's going to cover everything you need it to, and it's not going to look necessarily caked on or anything. You can also use a little bit amount and get a more medium full coverage versus a full full coverage, which is nice. It is completely matte, which is going to help if you have oily skin, like my T-Zone. I get oily and... Nothing, I'm good. It's not really. I've had it on for a few hours and it's not really faded or anything. I'm not super shiny. You don't have to set it with a powder. If you do, it could make it look cakey because it is so matte. It may also look a little unnatural with it being so matte, but if you use, you know, the right contour and brush, blush, and a little bit of highlighter, it'll look very natural. I have it on today and I don't think this looks unnatural or anything, so yeah. Decent foundation, decent coverage. A uh, 12 hour claim on the wear, and I'd say that that does hold true, that it does wear exceptionally well. I think the most I've clocked it at is like 9 hours ish. So that's just something to think about if you plan on rocking it for the full 12 hours. I can't guarantee that, but I'd say I don't see a problem with it wearing, unless you're super oily, in which case, you know, you may want to mist or set with like a setting spray or something to really lock it down. But other than that, you're not going to have an issue. If you have dry skin, it may not necessarily be perfect for your skin because it is so matte it's you know it's clay it's supposed to suck up oil so if you have dry skin it may not be good for you I don't really have dry skin so I can't comment on how it would work for you I'm thinking that with the right moisturizer and stuff underneath that it'll be fine but it's just something to think about maybe try it out it's a good foundation I think that you know you use a little bit and it'll last you a long time as you can see I haven't even put like a dent in mine and I've used it a few times so yeah, it's definitely a good foundation. Definitely worth looking into and checking out if you want a fuller coverage foundation. It has an SPF 15 in it if that's something you're concerned about. And I don't notice any cast or anything in flash photography, so definitely good in my book on that. The brush is just a very dense buffing brush, which is what I would say you would need to apply this because of the thicker consistency of the foundation. Now... EcoTools has a, a brush that's identical to this except for the bristles, which I've compared them, I've used them both side by side. Same exact thing, same exact result. So if you're looking to buy the brush on its own, you can get that and save some money if you're interested in saving some money. Um, but other than that, I think that these types of brushes are great. I think they work great with thicker consistency foundations. I think that they really help buff and spread them out. I think that they also work excellently with powder foundations because the type of brush you can hit it in or even twist it a little bit you're going to get a lot of 
powder on this. And you're really going to be able to buff it in and really get the most coverage out of your powder foundation, which is nice. So, definitely a win. Definitely worth checking out together because, I mean, 39 bucks for both is an excellent price point. The um, only thing I'd say is if you're, you're interested in, like, beauty blenders type sponges with the foundation then you're probably going to want to build it up a little bit more because it, it's going to shear the coverage down just a little bit. Not a lot because I have used my Real Technique Beauty Blender dupe with this, and it does lower the coverage a little bit, but not by much. So that's just something to keep in mind if that's your type of preferred application method. But I think they're both definitely worth checking out. Like I said, the QVC bundle is an excellent value, and you get both things. So... I would definitely recommend trying them if you like a fuller cover coverage foundation. If you are into minimal coverage, then this is probably not going to be for you. But let me know what you think of the foundation in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.